Having to get up four or five times in the night to go to the bathroom wasn't the worst of it. This patient, who we'll call John, has recurring prostatitis. It's hard to describe the pain, the sharp burning pain uh, in your rectum area. This whole pelvic discomfort is basically we describe it sort of like as men's toothache, the pelvic toothache, and that's what it is. Between 3 and 6 percent of men of any age have it. It more or less relates to any of the lower uh, genital urinary pain experienced in men, and most of the time it involves inflammation and pain from the prostate, or at least the prostate area. So how does it all start? That depends on the patient. It could be something simple as an infection. It could be something uh, like a viral illness. It could be voiding symptoms. It could be surgery in the area. Prostatitis does not turn into cancer, nor does it make a man more likely to develop cancer. But the pain can be debilitating, yet only a third of men who have it seek help. We have men on the golf course telling each other about their problems with erections, but they will not talk about their genital urinary pain. And it has to do with some sort of deep-seated um, psychosocial taboo we have about symptoms in this uh, general area. Prostatitis can take a while to treat, including antibiotics, anti-inflammatories and physiotherapy. We'll do the, the urinalysis first. We'll then do the centrifuge. The Kingston Prostatitis Clinic is using biomarkers in urine testing to specifically target an individual's symptoms. By doing that, we've improved our treatment rate from a dismal 30 percent up to 80 percent in our clinic results here. Beatrice Politi, Global News.